out there in the ether. If you listen hard enough spiritually, you can hear it. Bam! <laughs> if you listen hard enough. Yeah, if you if listen you hard believe, enough and believe, you can you believe, hear the words. You can hear the... Um, you don't need electronic equipment recording your voice to be heard. The secret episode. Hello, and how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, every, everybody. Yeah. Anybody. Wait, me? Hello. Or no, I want. Or? I'm gonna wait until someone says something. Um, what's up, Channing? How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm good. I'm yeah. in a good mood. It's a good. good day. Bright Sunday afternoon. Yeah. It's uh, it's been good. I got a lot of stuff done earlier today. I actually woke up before ten o'clock, which was weird and Whoa. frustrating, and I didn't like it at all. But uh, I got a lot of stuff done. Come midnight, nice. you'll be really exhausted. Oh, I'm gonna and you're be, just be like, why am I so tired? I normally am up so much later than this. Yeah, and I'll probably stay up till three anyway. Just <laughs> c- just fight through the the sleep deprivation, uh, so I can play some more game because I just can't play enough. I think I have I've had one day since Bloodborne came out that I haven't played it. Oh, really? At all that day. Yeah, I finished it. I don't know, like five days ago or something, and I, yeah. I I played like a chalice dungeon a little bit, and then I just have been so fucking busy, I haven't had time to do anything. So yeah, you are a busy guy. I you am. Your new jab. Mm-hmm. Started that on Monday, and it's just been kind of nonstop. I have to get up at uh, like six every morning so I can get to Salem by like eight, and then I work until six, and then I get home around seven thirty or eight o'clock. Wow, so yeah, that's yeah. a 12-hour day mm-hmm. right there, and geez. But uh, yep. is it good? Is it? I mean, are you uh, enjoying it so far? Yeah, not yeah it's too fun. crazy? I mean, it's retail is retail, but it's it's an exciting new environment. I've had to kind of embrace like a whole new culture oh, of yeah. like people that I don't normally associate with, I feel like. Um, so that's been kind of fun, actually. Just Yeah. At first, like I was kind of like, uh, you people, are, are, you people are dumb, yeah. bunch of immature idiots. And then after a while, you're just like, fuck it. Like, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? You want to buy some silly stuff? <laughs> oh, you mean the customers? Yeah, just like it's, yeah, right. It's a They're very different. different uh, I mean, it's not drastically different than um, what I'm used to, but it is it is quite a bit different actually. So this is yeah. a lot more like younger kids and. Um, it's definitely not like a at all a professional environment, so I, I kind of like get used to how just kind of lax it is compared to mm-hmm. my previous job. So it's been fun. It's a lot less stressful so far. I mean, yeah. I'm still training, so I'm sure it'll get uh, a little bit more hectic in the yeah. future. But for now, it's been it's been fun. It's been nice. Yeah, learning a lot. Yeah. So I just got one more week of traveling back and forth to Salem, and then I'll finally be in my store. Yeah. Here in Eugene. So I'll get like two and a half hours of my day back of not driving, right? <laughs> Plus, not you won't yeah. have to wake up quite as early, mm-hmm. and so you'll get that time back too. So, um, and you're you're going to be required to work uh, forty four hours, I yep. think, is what it is. So, yeah, and it's a salary, so you don't have to worry about getting paid different amounts every month. So. Nope. It's all salary. That's always nice, unless you until you work, you know, fifty, sixty hours, and yeah. then you don't get that extra money, and you're like, oh, now I'm working for less money every hour. I, I mean, they seem like that they they discourage you from doing that. Yeah, like they really want people to stick to the forty four. So, I'm sure that those like circumstances that will show up, like with holidays, where I'll yeah. probably stay a few hours here and there to do stuff. But yeah, oh, excuse me, it's not up on me. What um, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. How have you, how have you been now that I'm not there anymore? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been interesting. It's, it's different. Um, I, um, I'm, I, you know, did what you usually do on Sundays and mm-hmm. did all the, um, uh, the, the weekly stuff that we got to get done. Yeah. Um, and that was fine. Um, I've been, uh, like I have a low level of anxiety, generally speaking, mm-hmm. since um, you left, because I'm still trying to get your position covered. Um, some new stuff up came up at work mm-hmm. as far as uh, uh, um, expectations and and some new um, um, <laughs> uh, things that I have to do. Uh, Essentially, just I, I, I've been good, but a, a little bit stressed, a little bit yeah. anxious, um, and a little bit more frustrated because before it was kind of like I had it was like a, a team effort, and I had you, and we just kind of like if I didn't do something, you had already done it, mm-hmm. or I, you know, we kind of just bounced up, everything just got done, yeah, really smoothly. And now I have to do a lot more in the way of like 
making sure everything's getting done and double checking and and it's just a lot more micromanaging than mm-hmm. I like to do. I essentially just like to have everybody do everything for me, and uh, <laughs> when I have to run in and, and take somebody's spot, it's a little different. But yeah. uh, for the most part, it's been fine, um, and so I'm sure uh, it'll be. I've been busy, so a lot better once you get your replacement in, and yeah, I um, have the extra help. I'm supposed to have them in uh, this week, but they were sick, so I had to readjust the schedule. Like. A crazy amount, like the day before it came mm-hmm. out. So I'm kind of scrambling. That that was the main reason why I was kind of stressed out was just getting that person uh, into the store and ready to go. And and I haven't met them, and so I'm yeah. I'm kind of curious how that'll go. Um, but once they show up, I'll uh, you know probably be a lot less stressed about yeah. everything. And I've been having to coordinate and you know tr- get other employees from the other store over, and so. Otherwise, uh, been good. I been uh, had a day off. I went on a big long bike ride, and I got a new kettlebell. So I did a long exercise with that the mm-hmm. other day, and uh, I keep getting uh, people telling me how thin I look, and <laughs> that's fun. Um, it's weird. <laughs> just, I'm getting used to fire it. And, uh, it's really interesting. It's, it used to be my beard. Everyone mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, you fat guy, you have such a nice beard," mm-hmm. and now they're like, "Oh, skinny guy, I didn't even notice your beard." Oh man, now you're not like. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, I don't get the Zach Galifianakis uh-huh. thing at all anymore. I think because I lost some weight, uh, some weight. Um, so yeah, it's been interesting, um, and it, I'm just not sure if I've like lost too much weight or whatever. But I think I'm okay. I think you're all right. So uh, lose a whole lot more. No, I probably should. May cease to exist. I know. I wonder how low just I could fade go. out of existence. Yeah, I'll just um, entirely. Look like Paris Hilton. And yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just be bones and <laughs> sexual uh, proclivities. <laughs> I had to bring up the her just just skeletal structure with a dick. That's yeah, all. yeah. I'll just <laughs> be uh, a skeleton and a uh, phalanx, <laughs> uh, a phallus, fallacy. Um, it's weird that fallacy and phallus don't come from the same word. I know because <clears throat> they're so similar. Yeah, P H A L words. Yeah. Well, fallacy is F A L. Oh, is A C Y, and phallus is P H. Well, false is pH, but... Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, false. Yeah, false. false. Anyway. False, yeah. I'm an idiot. No, you're not an idiot. I just um, <laughs> wanted to clarify it. Some That's, kid's writing a term paper and he spells false. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard it on a podcast. I thought it was fucking real. <laughs> These guys, like, they pride themselves on <laughs> their words and getting the words right. And I uh, don't question them things. is basically what I'm getting at. And yeah. they led me astray. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I haven't been able to... I've been trying to run in the morning, but since I have to get up so much earlier, oh, I can't imagine. Like, yeah. I just, um, luckily, I do like two closing shifts a week, so I can like train on closing, and the, it's like so basically two days a week I've been able to get a run. Yeah, because I don't have to like leave until ten thirty, so it's been really frustrating because I just want to go for runs, but I yeah. I'm just like I'm not gonna get up at five o'clock in the fucking morning, and then so just so I can run and then not get home. Yeah, and you're o'clock. already doing so, so much. much. That, yeah, um, I just cut down on how much I've been eating a little bit just to kind of balance that out pretty much yeah which is not hard because i'm so busy that i don't i have breakfast and then lunch and by the time i get home i just go to bed so oh wow dinner's well, the meal to skip if you're gonna skip one it's like yeah. the, the least important meal of the day well you do the least amount of acti- mm-hmm. uh, activity later in the evening for most people i was reading that's why a lot of people have problems with weight loss because to eat so much dinner is like the big meal that everybody yeah. has at the end of the yeah. day like breakfast a lot of people, I don't think, eat a very good breakfast because you, you kind of like get up last minute and then get right. to wherever you're going. Right. So you usually grab something small or you're not hungry because you just woke up. So breakfast is like the, the meal that should be your biggest one because that's going to fuel you the whole day. And then yeah. lunch is like your, you know, just to keep it going. But dinner, you're actually supposed to have a really small meal because you yeah, usually yeah. just go to bed a couple mm-hmm. hours or a few hours afterwards. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I think so. at some point, you know, dinners became the big family event, you know, everybody gets together in the in the yeah. evening, and so um, you know they cook a big meal, and I think that was more when you would have dinner, like everybody had dinner, like right, you know, when the sun goes down, mm-hmm. like you know you, and then you would be up for a little while longer, and it wasn't as big of a deal or whatever, but yeah, I think lifestyle is 
lifestyles are so different nowadays. Yeah. Uh, y- you know, they're so varied, and so there isn't, like, a specific breakfast, lunch, and dinner time for uh, a lot of people. Like, I don't have any, like, my schedule is way different than most people's. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I've been trying to eat more uh, breakfast stuff. Like, I, I've been getting these breakfast burritos that I can heat up real quick and eat mm-hmm. uh, in the morning so that I have... I, I also found that, like, if I didn't eat breakfast... I would eat just a couple little things like a yogurt and a um, a breakfast bar or something like a granola bar. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but by like right before lunch, I'd start getting really, really frustrated and irritable. And I think it's because I didn't have enough food. Yeah. Because I I have uh I think I have self uh, identified um, <laughs> hypoglycemia where you know you don't have enough uh, blood sugar uh, levels or whatever you don't have enough blood in your sugar or something I don't know how it works no, no, sugar in your blood <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I need more sugar and uh, or, or you know just more uh, um, calories and so I get really I get really like irritable frustrated mm-hmm. um, short tempered when I'm hungry and so i realized i was starting to get really frustrated right before lunch so i've been trying to eat more in the morning which is better anyway and then when you you know then i'm just less hungry at lunch and then less hungry at dinner as well so um i've been trying to do that but finding breakfast that i like is difficult because i don't like cereal i don't drink milk yeah it's tough i don't want to make oatmeal and i don't have time in the morning because i wake up take a shower go to work i don't (laughs) I don't take. I don't want. I'd rather sleep. Yeah, which is bad. I should go to bed a little earlier, wake up a little earlier, and I could make like eggs or because yeah, breakfast food is like my favorite kind. I of I love food. the type of food. It's just and the, it's the just pre- like I don't. I, I don't get up early enough to like fry up some eggs. Yeah, and, like, and it only takes bacon or something. You know, five ten minutes. Anyway, yeah, but so it, it is like always kind of like on the go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. But luckily, I eat cereal doesn't bother me. I'm just a lot pickier about cereal now. I mean, when you're yeah. a kid, I feel like you did anything with sugar in it. Yeah. But now I don't like sugary cereal. Yeah, I'm just it's like, not Ugh. good. Yeah. So I usually have to get like Special K. Like I, I want enough like flavor to like enjoy it. I couldn't just eat like Cheerios plain. I would have to have something with them, like fruit in it or something. Mm. So I usually do like the Special K with, with the red berries, dried strawberries yeah, in there because really it's just good. like it's like the. The perfect amount of like sugar. It's yeah. not overpowering and it's good. Yeah, um, those ones in particular, that cereal is really sweet and yummy and good. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. yeah, but like, f- like Lucky Charms and shit. I'm just like, I can't fucking yeah. eat this shit anymore. Count it's Chocula. Like, yeah, hey, fucking. Uh, it's just dessert yeah, Lucky for breakfast. Charms. Dude, Lucky Charms is just those little hard ass marshmallows made of sugar, and they're so hard. You have to wait until they soften, or else you like break your teeth on them. Yeah, well, I remember yeah, always I have, like be- the marshmallows, and then the. It would make the that s- sound when you bite into them, <laughs> yeah. like that, like like uh, nail on a chalkboard, mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Uh, it was fucking terrible. And then even the pieces that aren't marshmallow are just like little sugary yeah. grain pieces yeah. of grain or whatever. Yeah, it's they're like uh, knockoff Cheerios. Mm-hmm. But by the time the marshmallows are good to go and you can eat them and they're soft, <laughs> the other part is so gross because yeah. they're too soft. It's like a it's pasty like a, milk sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like the chemistry involved in that cereal is fucking not compatible. They did not do that. Well, very little well. kids don't give a fuck. It just Hell no. tastes like sugar and awesomeness. So yeah, that's all they care about. They don't get how racist that fucking cereal is. <laughs> with the fucking little leprechauns. Leprechauns and short people and yeah. all the uh, pagan uh, symbolism with the uh, stars and the horseshoes and, shit and the horseshoes. Rainbows and blue moons. Blue moons. Pots, that's pots of gold and rainbows. Yeah. And the red balloons. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, there are red balloons. I remember that. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Good luck. Um, (coughs) Then you see, like, the fucking Frosted Flakes, where it's just like, oh, there's, like, decently healthy cornflakes, but we're just going to coat them. Yeah, yeah. Frosting. Sugar and frosting. It's like we want kids to eat good stuff in the morning <laughs> yeah. but no parent can explain it well enough to get their kids to eat it so then they just stick sugar all over it and they're like oh here the fuck it <laughs> yeah well, i'd like, rather the kid eat and be fat than not eat <laughs> yeah. at all i'm tired of listening to him whine about how he doesn't like this stuff so here's your sugary gross stuff yeah but the other thing i used to love pop tarts when i was a kid too and my mom didn't buy them that often like we had like cereal and oatmeal most of the time yeah but now i can't fucking i had to get pop tarts to take with me this last week because like some of the days i kind of woke up yeah. late and I, it was like i could just take it with me and eat it in the car yeah. and i'm like i'm like eating it and i'm just like this is so fucking dry. sucks they're dry yeah. all it is is just like nasty fake fruit filling yeah with this nasty. like really thick 
icing on the top yeah, and i'm just some... like eating and i'm like i'm not even enjoying this but i like need something <laughs> in my body to function you're just like crying eating a pop tart <laughs> i kind of want to like i'm literally just going <laughs> <laughs> you need like a drink after every yeah. bite because you can't heat them up pop tarts fuck heating them up who yeah. needs that but i got a i got some like cinnamon raisin bagels so i'm just like oh that sounds good God, yeah it's just bagels some of that with cream cheese where i can just yeah. make it real quick and then just take it with me so i don't have to fucking eat pop tarts anymore i can't do it i can't do it i can't, <laughs> can't do it, do it. No, I can't our do it pop anymore. tarts it's gonna be funny when somebody offers you a pop tart i know you're gonna be like no I, uh, I graduated from, like, the Pop-Tarts to those toaster strudels, and now I can't even eat those either. Yeah, like, those are uh, so sweet. Yeah. Those, they're, like, freaking pastries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used to love uh, bagels, but I just – I don't like bread that much, and mm -hmm. it, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of – I go through, like, phases where all uh, – Bagels are just awesome. For, yeah. Like, I, I bet you by the end of this week, after eating bagels It'll every day, so I'll just be like, okay, I'm done with yeah. fucking bagels now. Those raisin cinnamon ones, those are pretty dang. Yeah. Though. <clears throat> this um, is the uh, the this the is the fucking breakfast, breakfast episode. The breakfast yeah. Club. Why not? Fuck yeah. Uh, Talk about lunch yeah, sometime. Uh, no. What's your favorite breakfast food? <sighs> Ooh. Um. Like meal, like not like not bagels and pop tarts, but like if you can went, go to like a a nice restaurant. Here, I'm gonna. Some, oh, so I got on it. my microphone. I got it. Right, yeah, right. it a hair on the microphone. Cool. Um, probably like an omelet. I would say. Yeah. Um, there's like that little cafe that we met at the other day, mm -hmm. and we've been going almost like once a week, like oh, on a Saturday. Place, yeah. Because they just make really fucking it called, good like, cozy home. Uh, or something? Busy Bee. Busy Bee. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like this nice little diner, and yeah. but they make just fucking delicious omelets. Like I've like, and then I had like a club sandwich there the other day too that was really good. Um, yeah, look good. But I'd probably like omelets are probably <laughs> like my favorite thing. Um, what kind of omelet? But not like. Um, I don't know. I'm not particularly picky. I kind of mm -hmm. like will order anything. I just don't like. Um, like IHOP, for example, like their ham and cheese omelets, the cheese they use sucks. It's like a cheese Super sauce, cheesy. and it's like, no, yeah. I want like real, just put some shredded cheese in there. Yeah. Like, I don't want a fucking salty, nasty, fucking like Velveeta cheese sauce in my omelet. Yeah, that's um, but yeah. I'm sure they have regular cheese that they can put on it. <laughs> I know. It's well, I think they put regular cheese on the top, but they just like stuff it oh. with the, this like fake cheese, and it's, it's just like really salty and the gross. The cook just jams his wiener into it and then just <laughs> squirts out just blows a load and blows him omelet. and he's uh he's got orange goo <laughs> i am sure that Tastes they have like a little fucking tube that they just yeah, plug in and just squeeze that's, it so, in that's there. not how you make a fucking omelet <laughs> um yeah. anyway but yeah it's probably omelets, omelets or uh <laughs> french toast that's probably like my other thing oh you like french toast yeah. i i ate french toast like crazy when i was a kid mm -hmm. i would like go through phases where like i would just eat one type of breakfast thing like it was pancakes for a long time and then french toast for a long time and then uh i think now it's just bacon and eggs so. yeah I i'm kind of uh like reverted back to really simple like this morning, actually this morning, I just uh, I had some like sausage patties, so I just made scrambled eggs and like ate a couple of those mm. instead of yeah having like fucking toast with it and like all this other bullshit. Yeah, it's kind of like I just want like two things to eat real quick and yeah, yeah. But yeah, and what sucks is when you go to those diners, they like they it's like you you, you, you just want an omelet, but then they're like, oh, here's your omelet, and then here's like a Fruit. side of hash browns yeah. and. Uh, Oh, you want fucking toast or an English muffin? They give you so much stuff, and you're like, yeah. Jesus Christ, no wonder yeah. why everybody's so fucking fat around here, because yeah. this is way, like, the omelet's all you need, and even that's probably almost too much, depending on how big it is and what they put yeah, in it. Yeah, almost so. have, like, six eggs in them. Like, a small omelet has, like, six eggs in it, because yeah. they have to, you know, cover so much space, yeah. space and food. And I, I mean, when I make them at home, I usually just do three, but I don't make them that big. I use, like, right. a small pan, yeah. and then you just put, you know, put a little shit on half yeah. of it and just fold it over. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm sure in restaurants they probably do like uh, they got to be like amounts. a lot of eggs in those. Maybe only three or four, but it, it seems like they use a lot of eggs. It's freaking filling though. That mm -hmm. shit will fill you up. Yeah, I love omelets. I love breakfast food in general, but yeah. I, mean, I, I because of my diet, I just don't eat like pancakes or French toast anymore. I know all the good stuff all because good it's stuff just, just sugar, sugar and yeah. carbs is <clears throat> all it is. But yeah. luckily, like eggs 
are there's not much to them. Cholesterol is like the biggest thing you have to worry about, and that's only if you're eating a yeah. lot of it. But yeah, and you'd have to just like go crazy, mm-hmm. like and eat a lot of other stuff. Yeah. I don't think it's that bad. Um, cholesterol in general, I, I think there's like a lot of you know there's a back and forth on like the science about yeah. cholesterol. I don't know exactly what it is. Something to do with your arteries getting all clogged up. With yeah, fucking something like fat, that. It's uh, it's something. particularly bad if you're like old and yeah out of shape and didn't take care of yourself when you were younger I imagine yeah but then you just deserve to fucking die anyway <laughs> it's true <laughs> fuck old people I uh, I use the model of old, like the, all these like really big old people who can like barely waddle around and like have to stop constantly and like yeah. take a breather they're my um, my example of why I'm not gonna end up like that <laughs> like I'm just like Oh, yeah. thank you for thank you for reminding me of why I'm trying to take care of myself now. Like you need people like that to remind you. Oh yeah, um, that that's you your need, future. Unless you need you, fuck ups. Yeah. So you know, uh, everybody has what their the place in society. Is. Yeah. is what I'm getting at. Um, yeah. Whether it's a good or bad example. Yeah. Um, it's like the uh, um, uh, there's like a I don't know just like a saying like um, maybe your role is to teach people what not to do Mm -hmm. like maybe that's your the best thing you can contribute to the world is to be an example for what people should never do Mm -hmm. so like you know crackheads and you know people fuck up really bad and you know they we need to know about that kind of shit so we have you know these examples like homeless people i'm just like it would be so easy to end up in that situation like just uh, and so it's kind of terrifying yeah i don't know how easy it is to become homeless i think it's a complicated situation for some Mm -hmm. people but some people it's probably not that crazy you know i just couldn't imagine they going to dead or whatever like i can't like i can't i i I don't know i i I would kill myself i guess i don't even know what i would do like if well you have a a family and like support and Mm -hmm. you always have and so it's i don't know how you would go from i think you have to be you can't have like a a support system and be homeless Mm -hmm. you would have to just be all on your own yeah and uh, i could i could fuck up real bad and still have like somebody who'd let me in their house for a little while (laughs) but um yeah i don't know i I, it's it's hard not to it's hard to know like how harshly to judge other people you know like especially when they're on that low of a scale yeah it's almost pointless to even like worry about it because i mean you know they might have done something horrible or and they might be horrible people they might have done you know i don't know what the situations are. yeah or just really a they could series be good people, of unfortunate circumstances yeah. that just fucking put them there but mental uh, health i think is the biggest thing yeah and drugs you know well that's part of it you mm-hmm. know a lot of times is they they take a lot of medications or they stop taking the medications or um they can't afford the medications that they need because they're schizophrenic um and so they can't get jobs and if you can't get a job and you can't can't, you aren't well enough or sane enough or smart enough to fill out a form to get government help or you don't want to mm-hmm. then they just go live on the streets and you know hang out with other people and they just like kind of support each other i would imagine yeah <laughs> and then you do all the drugs because yeah. you're like fuck life i don't care <laughs> anymore i'm on a fucking highway to death That's what yeah for um so let's get into these words that we yeah. got here um what right. is your word for the week sir polygamy um no polygamy it's oh what <laughs> yeah. are you thinking about you, you getting into that yeah. yeah with you well last the not last week but the or yeah last week we were talking about how you wanted an extra uh wife oh, yeah, I who would uh who would uh do all the chores yeah. and i was like no that's called a maid and you don't you don't get to marry him but yeah um no my word is badinage 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 is that french um, no. Oh no, you're actually right. Oh. It entered English in the 1600s, and it's from the French word "badner," which is meaning to do. Badner. This is badner. I am going to do this, and then we will be okay. Um, but badinage is light or playful banter. Oh, we have so typically what we're all doing mm. all, every week. We're just badinaging this shit up. Ah ha ha. Badging, badinaging the shit out of this. <laughs> so it means light banter? Yeah, light, playful banter. What's, what, isn't all banter light? Or else it's not really banter. I guess you could have harsh banter, like like, uh, <laughs> like a back and forth. It's not really a debate, but like you're being a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be weird. <laughs> 
Is this is this light banter or is this like medium heavy <laughs> banter? Are we how heavy does it banter become before it's an argument? We need to create a scale of banter levels so we can understand what's going on. The banter scale. Um Badinage. I like that. Uh, I like that word. It's badinage. Badinage. I like to say it like a French person. We do monde bleu bon, on dit bleu noir, badinage. On de bon bleu dans. You should go to France badinage. now and just fucking walk around. Just go say hey, badinage, badinage, <laughs> oh, badinage. Um, sick, sick, sick. <laughs> What's your, okay, what's your word? I got real close there. Uh, mine is Halcyon. I never Are you sure that. I sort did of you look at wrote it down and guide? I didn't actually like look at it before I saw it. Okay. Um, it's H A L C Y O N Halcyon, um, or it could be Halcyon. Hal. It's probably one of those dick words where it's like Halcyon for no reason. Oh, right. Like you know what I mean? Because it's Cause like sometimes uh, like you would you would, like C I O N you would think Cion would be the pronunciation, yeah. but every once in a while there's just like yeah. a word where it just flips that whole pronunciation on its head. Um. Halcyon. It means calm or peaceful. So, um, you could say this lake is Halcyon. Nice. And be all smart. About it. <laughs> Class it up. It would not fit in a badinage. I feel like if you're trying to use words like house, no, I that mean, wouldn't just, be light banter. That'd be me. Yeah, banter. it'd be like intellectual banter, mm-hmm, and which is too so too high not level, light. Yeah. highbrow. Um, yeah. So we got some words. Uh, very Halcyon interesting and words. Badinage. I don't know. I I how would you use badinage in a sentence like um they engaged in badinage yeah. it just doesn't sound uh, like kind of example like of like um fluid like you could be fluid about it or mm-hmm. anything um I think a lot of these words that we typically pick yeah they're not they're, and that's why they're not that common yeah. because it's tough and you just sound like a dick when you use them because you're just like oh I'm just gonna throw this word in there and I know nobody knows what it means but I uh, just want to be the guy. Who uh, sounded intelligent? Um, let's see. In the South, an engaged girl, even a young married woman, expected the same amount of half affection and badinage and flattery that would be accorded a debutante. But here, all that seemed banned. It's from S. Scott Fitzgerald's *The Ice Palace*. Oh, yeah, very, uh, very uh, 1920s. <laughs> yeah, how 1920s of you. God, why are you gotta be all 1920s. God damn it. Um, yeah, it's an interesting word. You can use it well so it, as a noun. It means light, playful banner. Um, but you can use it as a verb, which just means to banter or tease someone playfully. Like we're bad so, nodding. Yeah, so stop bad nodding me, you, you silly little, little man, little devil. No more bad nodding from you, Mister. Jeez, <laughs> you got too much bad nodge with that girl over there. I'm trying to create this halcyon <laughs> environment, and here you are, just bad nodding everybody. Bad nodging everybody, <laughs> just having light banter <laughs> like it's no big deal, and you're being charming as fuck, and I don't appreciate it. Cause I'm the charming like one. This is yeah. my party. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing to me? <laughs> All this badinage. I, we got to stop this. We got to get into some arguments. <laughs> um, fucking A. Um, so I have an idea, which is because okay. of my camcorder and my lack of ability to adjust anything on it, <laughs> um, I thought maybe I'd stop the camera um, and then uh, we could do another half an hour real quick. That way I can uh, split them up on YouTube. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. That's real fine. quick. And then uh, we'll so start the other half. concludes part one of, what, episode part 28? On debut, oh, yes, is uh, episode 28. Yeah. It is, the, uh, yeah, it is episode 28. Episode they have a year, episode. and uh, we will be back in uno momento, which is Spanish in a French <laughs> accent. Um, I'm not going to stop the audio, though, so oh, just okay. we'll just keep, you know, just start singing or something. Jaggedy, jaggedy, chatting. Chat it up. Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Chattanooga.